Hey yo everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel where today we are presenting you our first Platinum Hunter series and this one's going to include Mega Man X Legacy Collection. This is the first part out of two. This will cover the first four Mega Man X games. So if you're just as excited as I am, feel free to hop on in guys. This is definitely going to be the first of many and I'm excited to show you how to get every single achievement that you see on screen right now. And so with that being said guys, I'm not going to talk too much. I know we're here for the good stuff. I just wanted to also give you a little bit of a disclaimer. Go play the games first before worrying about getting all these achievements. The games are so worth it. Not only that, but I also wanted to remind you guys that I'm also going to have separate videos going more in depth like how to get all the heart tanks, the sub tanks, the armor parts. Uh, also, there will be individual videos for specific achievements because they are a little bit more complex. So let's get started with Mega Man X. The very first achievement you're going to get is M Buster We Trust for taking out your first Maverick boss because guess what, you have no special powers yet. So congratulations. I would go ahead and advise you to go ahead and fight Boomer Kawanger and get his power so that way you could go ahead and bust on over to the next stage and use that on Flame Mammoth to cut off his nose to get the Nobody Knows My Sorrow achievement. Getting all four armor parts in Mega Man X will reward you with the first armor trophy. Congratulations. When fighting Armored Armadillo, after he lands from doing the roll, if you go ahead and use the power you got from Spark Mandrel, his armor will fall off and you'll get just plain Dillo. Getting the final heart tank will not only give you maximum life, but also reward you with the Never Hearts to Be Careful trophy. After you have gotten every single heart tank and sub tank in the game, plus every armor upgrade, you'll be able to go back to Armored Armadillo stage, and as long as you have full health and you get to the very end of the stage, you can actually go all the way up to the top of this cliff that you see on screen, to find another capsule which will reward you with a special present aka the Hadouken which is going to also reward you with another trophy as well. Plus it is going to be helpful to take him out Sigma. You can seriously just one hit shot him. You can one shot any enemy with this. Use it. <laughs> Now this trophy can be obtained in earlier stages of the game, such as Thin Chameleon and Chill Penguin stage, but taking out a mech with a mech is going to get you the Gimp My Ride trophy, no exhibit included. Taking out Wolf Sigma and ending the game is going to earn you with the Is It Over trophy. Or It's Over, sorry, that's the next game. And for completing the game on rookie mode, when Sigma pops up with a little message for you, you'll get the how long will he keep fighting trophy. Now going back, if you didn't get all the buster upgrades, specifically the arm upgrade, whenever Zero helps and saves you and after you defeat Vile, he'll give you his buster upgrade and from there, you'll get the rearm trophy. Go ahead and charge that bad boy up and go on and take uh, take out the next boss. Make sure you get that last hit with the pink attack to get the pretty devastating and pink achievement. And congratulations, you just 100% in Mega Man X, so let's move on to X2. And this first achievement is going to be in the very first stage. You can get this on rookie mode, I would suggest it because this is a little harder to avoid the head and the spike arms and the feet, especially when he jumps around, but defeating the boss with a full tank of health will get you the size matters not achievement. Now this one is going to be an interesting one. So your objective when you fight Morph Moth is going to be not to attack him at all, not even be tempted with Speed Burner. After so long he'll transform and you'll get the Take Your Time trophy. Now, this one is an interesting one. So going through the whole stage without getting spotted by a spotlight and then defeat Magnus Centipede will get you covert ops. 
Taking out Wire Sponge with his weakness, the Sonic Cutters will actually award you with the half the sponge he used to be trophy. Literally, he is half the sponge, so I guess it's fitting. Getting all the armor upgrades in Mega Man X2 will award you with the second armor trophy. Of course. And if you use your Giga Impact attack as the last attack you use against the Maverick boss, you're going to get the Dodge This trophy. Coming up here on this stage, this is just a little, little neat little farming hack, and not only that, but you get a little uh, trophy for it. By coming in here, or just in general, honestly, and using a charged up silk shot, you'll be awarded the Friendly Neighborhood Mega Man trophy. Plus, like I said, it's a good farming method for uh, filling up your sub tanks. Now, right here is where we're gonna get the Shore Yukon. So go ahead and freeze that bat and walk up there. I figured I'd go ahead and just attach a little walkthrough for this just because I didn't want to make a separate video to be honest with you. Um, plus it's a little funny I had to do it. So come through here. What I did, I just kind of just air dashed by, you know, just dropping down. You're going to want to take this hit right here though so that way your iframes kick in and you can kind of just dash through. Then go ahead and equip the speed burner power. I took my sweet time doing this. And then you're going to go ahead and max charge it. Go ahead and jump, air dash, and then combin uh, combine that with a speed burner dash as well. Make sure you have a full tank of health before you actually move down. You don't have to have full sub tanks, but go ahead and make sure that your health bar is fully maxed out. Keep sliding down and you're gonna end up with a little secret passageway that you're gonna end up just moving into. And you'll be greeted with yet another capsule with a very interesting message saying how he's not worthy. Step in for a special surprise. Again, with this trophy, you have to have all hard tanks, body upgrades, and sub tanks. Okay, so let's talk about defeating the X Hunters. So, if you have already defeated all three X Hunters throughout the normal playthrough before you get to the actual stages, and you have all three zero parts, when you arrive and you're greeted with zero, well, this uh, black armored zero, and of course Sigma, well, there's going to be a brief second where out of nowhere, Zero is actually going to come in and rescue you. If you do not, then you actually have to fight Zero, knock him back to his normal self, and then move forward. But our boy Zero is going to come in here, square up, and then <laughs> you're going to be awarded with the Zero Square Trophy. And after defeating the virus form of Neo Sigma, you're going to get the It's Really Over Trophy. See? I told you I got ahead of myself. And once Zero cards in presented by Capcom onto the screen, you're going to get the price of peace is often high if you beat the game on without rookie mode. Moving on to Mega Man X3, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of blitz through this, but defeating Bit by getting to him without using any special powers at all throughout the entire stage and the mech in without using any mech rides will earn you speed isn't everything. Same thing if you defeat Bite under the same circumstances. Power isn't everything will be awarded to you as well. Vile is going to be the same way, but you also get another achievement for destroying his little mech suit that he rides, or his little ride armor. Then when you defeat him, you're going to instantly get the persistence isn't everything. There will be a guide to explain those three achievements as well. Getting the last ride armor uh, chip will get you the all unit standby trophy. Once you get your fourth and final upgrade part, you're going to get the third armor achievement. Now this is where we get the hyper chip. The hyper chip has to be obtained the same way you get Hadouken and as well as the Shoryuken. It's, you have to have all sub tanks, you have to have all armor upgrades, you have to have all hard tanks, and not to mention, you also have to have all the ride chips, which, of course, check out the other video, link is going to be in the description, for a guide on how to get all of these things, and it's all going to be in one video. Then slide on down here, and you'll get the capsule with the hyper chip. 
Of course, we're going to have to beat the game without the hybrid ship as well. Please keep that in mind. Save frequently throughout this game. I cannot stress that enough, which I will also explain in my individual videos as well, at least particularly when it comes to the vile part of it. And then after you get the gold armor, you'll get the always believe in your soul achievement. And this little part of the stage, this is where you're going to get the beam saber, which is another achievement. Uh, we're going to kind of come up this way, and then once we get to the very tippy top, we're going to go ahead and switch to our boy Zero to come in and take this fight for us. So, once you've selected Zero, basically charge up, do the two attacks, then wait a minute, hit him with the saber, and you'll take out your health. At that point, you'll have this little special cutscene. I sped it up for this moment just so that way, you know, we're not sitting here kind of waiting for this to progress. But basically, after this little dialogue happens, he's going to get you the beam saber. The only way to get this beam saber, though, is if you defeat Vile whenever you fight him with using his weakness, which is Ray Splasher. He has another one, which is the Toxic, but we'll cover that later. And once you have the beam saber, this is going to make this fight a lot easier since we don't have hyperchip. When you defeat Sigma, you're going to get the It's Really Over, right? And then the Extreme Danger if you defeat him without the Hyperchip. Then you're going to have to escape him, and then once you beat the game, and it gets to the presented by Capcom screen, you're going to get the To Save Mankind trophy for beating the game without Rookie Hunter mode. Now Mega Man X4, the game that got me into Mega Man in the first place. We're going to start with Magma Dragoon stage, and yes, we have no powers right now because we're going to hang out in this mech. You can ride the mech down here, and then you can actually get this achievement by fighting him and getting the final strike on Magma Dragoon with the mech rider suit. It does not matter if it blows up, as you will see here. I took a hit, it blew up after I got the final blow on him, and when he got this little dialogue, I got the trophy. So there you go. The next trophy, ironically, I got on the same stage, was going to be the Fourth armor. Yep, you guessed it. Congrats to you. You get the fourth armor achievement by getting all four body armor parts. And using Nova Strike on as the last attack against an enemy will get the Ain't Over Until It's Nova trophy. Defeating Sigma and Mega Man X4 is going to award you with yet another trophy, of course. I mean, we all should have seen this coming. You're actually going to get several achievements here in a bit. It's definitely over is going to be this trophy. <laughs> Now, I kind of waited a little bit to get this trophy, but using all of X's fully charged attacks is going to award you with yet another trophy. This trophy has a very interesting name, and it is very fitting for this character. The trophy is going to be Pew Pew. Told you. <laughs> Once you get the presented by Capcom screen, you're going to be awarded with a few trophies if you've done this the first time. Promise Me Zero is going to be your first, of course, because you beat the story with X. Then, after you get that little dialogue, you get half the saga for beating, well, all of the games. True Hero for beating the game without Rookie Hunter mode as X. Tragic Destiny for beating the game on, without, rookie, uh, on, without Rookie Hunter mode in general. Now going back into Zero, we're going to go ahead and just use every technique once we have every technique to get the Way of the Saber Trophy. And once you have every sub tank you have fully leveled up or you know fully filled up, you have max lives, you'll be awarded with the fully equipped trophy. Beating the game and getting the presented by Capcom screen is going to get the Mavericks after all trophy to beat from beating the story at Zero. Now let's talk about the Mega Man X Legacy Collection exclusive trophy, well the trophies for the collection itself. By simply looking at 10 different photos and then uh, putting on the special one wallpaper will reward you with the re reconnaissance, I can't even speak English, reconnaissance complete trophy. Did you know you can actually switch to the Japanese version? By doing so, beating the first stage, you'll get the he's actually called Vava trophy. Now let's talk Mega Man X Challenge. There's a few of them here and then they're not that hard to get. Beating any stage with only the Buster is going to award you with the Elite Trophy.
If you don't know where you're at, you don't know where you're going. So simply checking your rank by clicking square in the global leaderboard is going to get you your what's your hunter rank trophy. And for beating all of the stages, you're going to get the A-class hunter trophy. Great job, you pretty much beat the X challenge. Now, what this, I waited to show this one off, but once you've listened to at least 10 tracks for long enough, so fully, in my, uh, from what I understand, and you beat X challenge, go to the Legacy X collection and listen to Give It A Shot Extended for audio signal incoming. Then, literally blast through the credits, go to the credits and literally shoot every little thing you can. Blow everything up, then you're gonna see X disappear and ReFuture pop up on the bottom left. Then, write out the credits and then you'll be greeted with this screen and you'll get Identity Erased. And if this was your last achievement like it was mine, you'll get the SA Class Hunter Platinum Trophy. That's right, not only are you an SA Class Hunter, but you're also officially a Platinum Achiever. Great job, and thank you for following me with this guide. If you guys have any other questions or want a game done, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys.